guys, today we're gonna unbox some shoes. I got these for my boyfriend before he leaves, off to college. Um, these, wait, we have to start over because I need to unslice this part. Unslice this? <laughs> He's been talking about these shoes, so I just decided to buy them for him. And I'm really excited to show you guys. These shoes are the Kobe shoes. So let's open them. I don't know too much about basketball shoes, but he says he really wants them and he plays basketball. He has a really big foot. He's a size 13 and I'm a size three. So there's a very big difference. He's 6'6 and I'm 4'10. So very, very big height difference. And again, I don't know too much about these, but I think these ones are better than the greens. So I got these. These are the green ones. I did want the marble ones, but um, couldn't find them in his size. So he has to settle for these. If you guys didn't know, I'm in charge of finding all the shoes here. So she asked me like literally two days after Christmas. What a horrible girlfriend. Didn't even give it to her boyfriend on Christmas. <laughs> it's not for Christmas, it was for college. Okay, well, let's hopefully he stays in college. Oh wait, how did you and your boyfriend meet again? We met from school. How many years older is he? He's one year older than me. And you said he's going to go to USC next year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to USC. Very proud of him. Let's say it doesn't work out. Are you going to sell his entire sneaker collection? Everything. We'll raffle it off at the Galleria. Raffle it? You want to yeah. raffle his shoes? For free. Every sale. <laughs> Everything size 13, 14, guys. If you if you got to pull up to a garage sale because she doesn't know the value of any shoes. She'll probably sell you these for like 100 bucks. Take them for free. Okay, we'll raffle. Okay, so follow us. We'll keep you guys up to date on our boyfriend. You guys will see him at USC next year. He's a baller. He's he's a monster. So today is going to be January 1st and a uh, pretty boring day because the first of the month is always audit month and we got to do some finances on the computer. So honestly, would you guys consider New Year's Day to be like a holiday? Because personally, oh no. Just random thoughts we got going. And also gotta we gotta look at our inventory for the month and adjust everything. But maybe we'll go through the back of the store. Give you guys a little tour of what goes behind the scenes in the store. Go be here. So today, a little calm day. As you can see behind me, we got all our inventory. Uh we got the pine green fours, straight, fresh, and brand new. Very hard to find. A size 12. I think we got these priced for 650. But it's definitely one of those shoes. If you know, you know. A lot harder to find. I think this Price is gonna go even higher up during the spring summer just because of the color. But it's crazy that this shoe might go over a thousand. I don't know. I don't think it's worth over a thousand. It's one of my favorite shoes to wear, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe just because it's so hard to find. And then we have another banger from 2023. It's gonna be the Born and Race SB. I think we posted this a bunch of times already, but a lot of small details on the shoe, especially from LA. You're gonna love this shoe, but. This one is size 13. I think we already sold. So, bring us up the question, which shoe would you rather have? Would it be the Jordan 4 or the Nike SB? Me, personally, I already have this, so I'll probably go with this, just because it's a lot easier to wear. This over this, sneaker of the year. These are sneaker of the year contenders right here. I think we already gave this away, but if you're nine and a half and these are still available, follow us on Instagram. These are free. See you guys. So, we just went to a random dude's house, cashed out on, I think, like 20 pairs. Uh, Alright, we're doing a review. This one's gonna be a Jordan 11 Jubilee. I think this one's the cleanest pair out of the batch. It was going for retail when it first came out. Do you like 11s? Um, I don't really care for them, but I like those out of all of them. What's like a shoe that a guy can wear that you're like, okay, he got style? Ooh, the Jordan 4 Pine Greens. But that specific colorway or just that model? I mean, I like Jordan 4s just in general, but I just like that colorway specifically. I think it's a really clean, um, like, combination. combination. Okay, but what if, what if, let me see the easy shoe. That's Lawrence's favorite shoe right there. He likes that for some reason. Lawrence rocks on 13s the other week. <laughs> Everything is wrong with 13s. Okay, if he pulls up. Ooh, if he pulls up in either of these, nah, yeah. If he pulls up in Yeezys in 2024, is he like a yes or a no? Uh, if he pulls up and it's a date and he's in slides, automatic oh, no. no, no. 350, oh, 350. okay. The <laughs> um, 350s aren't bad. I, I, I mean, yeah, they're, this colorway is a little interesting, but they're not bad. I think 350s are solid. I wouldn't really? judge. If a guy pulled up in those, you would be like, yeah. I wrote a guy, I've, I've got on a date with someone who pulled them in 350s. Ooh, that's not, another I shirt? bet you never went on another date with him again. 
What's a shoe that if a girl pulled up in, you would like leave the date? Dirty Air Force Ones. If she pulls up in Dirty Air Force Ones, I know she's not going to take care of me. No, for real. I mean, what do you think? If a guy pulls up in some white Air Forces that look black, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't. Right? Yeah. Are you going to leave the date right away or are you going to keep going on? Um, I'd probably stay for a minute and just see how he is, but I don't I don't know if there'd be a second date. Like, Guys, she showed up for her job interview no, no, it and my some job interview. and some Jordan it one job lows. Job like oh, like they were cooked. Oh, yeah, she said she did squats in them and she pulled up to a job they interview. My gym shoes, they're my gym shoes. But I did pull up one time to work in dirty Air Forces and both Lawrence and Ryan clowned me the whole day. I had no other shoes that would have matched the outfit and my cleaner, or actually I didn't have cleaner for at the time, they were just Those cooked. didn't need cleaner, <laughs> just needed to throw it away. Yeah, she was like, I'll clean them. Nah, bro, <laughs> no, you just gotta toss those. Stuff.